Hey, good morning everybody. I am at 231 Car Sales Inc. Located, weirdly enough, on 231 in Lebanon. Was talking to my friend Dustin over the weekend and we realized that we have three things in common and he invited me to come out and shoot a video today, talk about that. So, three things that real estate agents and car salesmen have in common. Number one, there's some trust issues there. There's a lot of people that don't like car salesmen, don't really like realtors. Um, but we're not here to talk about that today. I will tell you that I bought two cars from these guys. I do trust them. They've taken great care of me. I would not be sitting here if they didn't. Second thing that we have in common in our industries is a lot of high turnover. Only 13% of real estate agents make it to year five. And if you've bought enough cars, you've seen salesmen go from lot to lot to lot. Um, very, very common in both of our industries, but we're not here to talk about that. Third thing, what we are here to talk about is lack of inventory. Everybody knows right now, housing inventory is tight. There's not as many homes on the market as we need. And weirdly enough, we're seeing that same thing in auto sales right now. So guys, tell us a little bit about the lack of inventory and how it's affecting your business. Well, this we've been here 38 years and in all those years, this is the uh, one of the worst times we've come through, gone through, going through, as far as obtaining inventory. Uh, a lot of our inventory is obtained from new car dealers, trade-ins from new car dealers, late model trade-ins, what we specialize in. But there's been a shortage of that due to the shutdown of some of the new car plants and lines due to parts. It dominoes downhill. Uh, we're on the end of the stream. We find that, we find that we're right now probably 35, 40% less inventory than we normally would like to carry. <clears throat> uh, and it's kind of like your real estate market right now. If you have a house, uh, hypothetically speaking, for half a million dollars, you've got on, on, online in a subdivision, that house is gonna sell quick. And the person that don't jump on is the one's gonna lose it. It's getting to be the same way here. You know, we had, uh, we have a truck out here for $30,000 and it's gonna sell quick. It's going to, dealers from other states are actually buying some of our inventory, taking it to their state and marking it up. Um, that's how bad the inventory problem is right now. And we, we talk to people every day, you know, we'll say, well, this vehicle is here now. You might want to leave a deposit on it if you know mm -hmm. you want exactly. to buy the vehicle. Mm -hmm. And mentally, I don't think it really connects. They say, well, it'll be here in a day or two when my son or my husband can come look at the vehicle. Well, they come back within hours or a day or two and that vehicle's gone. And they go, what, what happened? I said, we sold it. You know, that's our job as a salesperson, just like yours. We sell cars. You're going to move the home as well, you know, it, and it takes money to hold it. But there's so little inventory right now that we're having to expand ways to get vehicles. And we haven't cut our advertising. We advertise all over the southeastern United States. And a lot of our vehicles go out of state each month. They're sold, they're bought online and go out of state. Um, that hadn't stopped, you know, the expense to carry on the advertising to keep our products in front of people's faces. And guys, I think that's a that's a huge point that he's talking about there. Just like we're seeing out-of-state buyers come in mm -hmm. and buy up housing inventory, they're seeing the same thing where out-of-state buyers are needing these cars and they're willing to come in and pay more to get shipped to their state. So that's, that's so crazy that we're both going through this right now. Um, again, I know what, what I'm doing with the housing market it's all about that shadow inventory. It's finding those houses that are about to go on the market, or maybe they're thinking about going on the market and reaching them first and being able to put buyers and sellers together. And I know you talked about like with our houses, a lot of people are bidding over asking price. You were telling me about some of these <laughs> car dealers are coming in here and they're paying over they're paying asking our price. price. Yeah, yeah. Paying what we're asking for. We're them beyond. Beyond. So would you say right now, if you've got a car that you're looking to sell, is now a good time to sell your used car? It's, oh, it, it's at its peak right now. You yeah. know, I bought a vehicle six months ago for my wife and gave X amount of dollars and it's already grew three to $4,000, which right. most of the time in a vehicle, it's, it's, you're not going to make money because you're putting miles on it, wear and tear, but this, my vehicle has actually went up and there's a lot of other people that might not know that now. Yeah, um, yeah. but their vehicle has, has gained, you know, value. Absolutely. What is one tip that you would give somebody looking to buy a car right now? Oh, that's easy. If you find where, whether it's here or somewhere else, if you find the car or truck that you're interested in, 
you've got the Carfax report on it. It, it fits all your, it checks all your, your boxes. Buy it, buy it. Uh, you, you, you don't wait. It's, it's like the house. There's a house in his neighborhood. Well, on the market last month, uh, it, uh, whatever, so $37,000 over 37,000 bucks over the asking price is what it brought immediately. If you, and here again, this is not an advertisement for us. Wherever you're looking at a car or a truck, you better be, be ready to jump because it's going to sell quick. And another thing that's so key is price point. Just as in a home, you know, not everybody can afford a $50,000 car, but there's a price point for everybody. When that price point, the truck or the vehicle is priced at that price point is really when it gets hot. You know, if you've got a house that's 3,500 square foot and it's listed for $300,000, it's going to sell pretty quick, right? Or above and beyond, yeah, yeah. Uh, just as an example. So that's a really big deal as well. What is your hottest price point right now? Mm, 30 under, grand. Under 30? 30, 30 and under, yeah. 30, under 30. Not under 15, under 30. Oh, yeah. And that's one thing that I'm seeing a lot, um, guys, like, Cash is trash. You've heard people talk about that. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people right now in a lot of different economies in our country, in our local mm -hmm. area, that are doing really well. And they're pumping that money left and right into cars, um, collectibles, baseball cards are back crazy enough, comic books, um, anything like that, where it seems like there's a lot of people that aren't wanting to sit on cash, they're wanting to translate that into something. And whether that's a fear of inflation, or a desire to invest in something other than a stock and bond. I don't know, but there's a lot of money being spent out there right now. Largest year we ever had in 38 year history of this store was, well, it's headed that way this year if we don't run completely out of cars, but last year was the largest year we've ever had, right in the middle of COVID. Straight through, we had a banner year. Yeah, yeah. Same with real estate. COVID yep. was yep. a lot of our best year ever. Yep. Last year was my best year ever yeah. Yeah. during a pandemic, which was incredibly frightening. Yeah. Thought it was going to be my worst mm -hmm. and it ended up being my best. Guys, thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you both for taking care of me personally. Oh, and I'll see you soon. See you, Jameson. God bless. Have a good one.